Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. It's been a while once again, but like I said, there are going to be videos ongoing just when they sort of happen. So going for head and face shave today, I'm going to try and pop them into the one video as quickly as I can. Now as you can see, there's a fair old bit of growth on here. And I picked this up to shave my young bloke's hairs because hairdressing for some reason and being a barber has gotten so expensive that $60 a month is just a bit of a stretch for your average families these days. The Remington X5, pure plastic, non-biodegradable, just a big chunk of shit really. But it works quite well, you can do fades with it. Well, I tried doing some fades with this little micro comb today and it did alright, you know, the kids here, so are okay. But I'm going to see how it goes just trimming this down and then I'm going to smash it with the leaf and some wickham. And here we go. Wish me luck. Now, I would normally put some sort of time thing in so you can skip to whatever part of the shave, but you know what you can do, you just fast forward. There we go. This is actually a very good clipper. The X5, never even heard of it until yesterday. But as you can see, it's just peeling this away. Rechargeable, lasts about apparently 75 minutes of a charge. Very impressive. I'm doing this with my shirt on as well, I don't know what I'm doing. Let's do it this way. I wouldn't normally do my hair this way, I would normally always go against the grain, even with a shaver. Or when I leave it, but this one. It's making very light work of it. It just sort of goes to show that you don't have to go out and spend three hundred dollars to get a set of clippers. It was a fantastic job. Really? Can I say much more? That's actually a pretty good sort of finish as well. It's not a it's pretty close, you know, if that's all you're looking for. Brilliant. Right, I'll pop this to the side. I'm just gonna get rid of this here just now. Brilliant. Right, let us fill the sink. Let us, let me fill the sink. Some hot water flowing, which isn't too hard at the moment with it being sort of 30 degrees plus every single day. Even the cold water is warm. I'm already soaking the soap. The soap today is Wickham 1912. Classic 24, which is a Creed Aventus homage, and it is a very, very nice scent. It's not quite Creed Aventus, but it's very, very nice. So I've got that soaking here, and I have got the ring of death on this soap, which is a bit of a shame, but it shows how good the soap is. I've almost finished it. I say almost finished it, I've probably got quite a bit of life left in it. Let me just do that. 
soaking water and smash it on my head, as you can see all on there. There is the ring of death, Wickham. Now this soap, I think I got this in 2017. It's now 2022, five years later. I think I got it in December 2017. And it is still a fantastic scent. Very, very much reminiscent of, hang on a minute, let me just make sure that's stuck on. Reminiscent of Creed Aventus. Of course it is based on that scent. And it just works. It's a fantastic silk. It's slick, it's protective, it makes a nice creamy dense lather. It's vegetal based as well. So for you guys out there that don't want to use tallow, Wickham is a great choice. I know Darren's had his struggles himself. Darren that owns the company has had, had his own struggles with skin conditions and I believe that's probably why I'm using my Rhodium Knot with G-Point Ceramics handle. Surjan's sister actually makes these handles and I believe you can actually hit her up and she will still make them for you. Surjan on the other hand, it's a totally different kettle of fish. I cannot get hold of the guy at the moment. I was normally quite chatty with him, we always sort of kept in touch, not every day. But regularly, you know, at least once every month or two, we just, I just send them a message. It does have a couple of things in the pipeline for me, a brush and well, a couple of brushes really. But <clears throat> he has dropped off the radar. I am told that he's okay. I have spoken with his sister and she's told me that he's absolutely fine. He's just sort of taking a break. But obviously, I can imagine there's people out there that have got brushes waiting and knots to be made. And I don't know whether he's actually getting in contact with those people. I've got all the lights on in the bathroom tonight. I think it might be too light. I think it might go a bit like a whitewash. But the camera so far appears to be dealing with it reasonably well. I don't think I've used the ZV1 at this time of night before. It's about seven o'clock. I've got work in the morning. So I do my shaves and stuff at night so that I don't have to mess about in the morning. Just adjusting my mirror over there. Just dip the brush in the water. I've just been back at ice hockey again on Friday. It's Saturday today. Last night. In the sort of socials setting. I really enjoyed it. I thought I was going to really struggle, but I played quite well. I am planning to sort of pop the odd video here and there, the odd little clips here and there into my shaving channel. I know there's a lot of guys over in the States and Canada and things like that, and probably other places in the world that, that watch hockey and love it. And I am by no means a fantastic player, but I enjoy it. And I do have my moments of greatness. I think I'm going to just go with that at that. I'm just going to dip the brush again. And what I'm going to do is just paint some water on. Just like that. Just to get a little bit of moisture in there. It's just a touch dry. And there we go. What do you reckon? The brush is chock a block loaded. Set that to the side. And bring in the leaf. Now, unlike I am CDB, I certainly don't, I'm not sponsored, nothing like that. This razor is just fantastic. I love it. I use it a lot. I use it on my wife's legs. She uses it on her arms. My daughter uses it. I use it on my head every now and then. I'll even use it on my face if I can be bothered. It doesn't do the best in the face under here. So I generally have to use a DE or the back of Old Faithful. Old Faithful. New Faithful. There we go. What, how far have I? 10 minutes anyway. I've done nothing but shave my head and that's it. So I'm going to go with the grain first because there's still quite a a bit of growth. Now I have got two or one Derby extra blade split in two in this razor and this is the second shave on it. I've just replaced them 
I actually had quite a few shears out of the last derbies that I had in here and I had nothing but lovely shaves from it. The derby blades work well. You know, there's obviously all razor blades in their own right are sharp. Now here's one thing I like about the leaf. Now, yes, the handle gets slippy, but I love how that triangle just scoops all the ladder. You don't get any, I know it's down on the handle now, it is slippy. Quick little rinse in the water. And once you get rid of the soap off the air, the grip comes back. It's not the grippiest of razors. But there's enough grip. So I'm going to do this pass with this razor and then I'm going to finish off with the skin guard. Just really just to save time. It's also been quite a while since I shaved my head so I do tend to suffer a little bit from irritation just based on the fact that my skin is a little bit sort of desensitised to the shaving experience. Chelsea United are playing again in the morning against Aston Villa. We struggled against them midweek in the cup. We got through it, but really struggled. Hopefully, we can turn something on tonight. But I'm not getting my hopes up. We've been absolutely lucky. Right. 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 Let's just wait the noggin again. Fantastic, no. This is the only three band badger Manchurian that Sergian has ever made, and he very, very kindly gifted it to me. Oh, oh God, it'd be well over a year ago now. Such a nice knot, and to my surprise, it has completely stopped shedding now. I think I may have, well, not completely, but I've lost like one or two hairs in the last 10 shaves, which is really good. So, yeah, here we go, the skin guard. You know, you're looking at Shaving with an electric razor or electric clippers into a modern cartridge or modern style cartridge using vintage style type blades and into a modern cartridge razor. Two blades. And I, I can't argue with this razor, I just think it's absolutely magnificent. It gives me an absolutely beautiful, squeaky clean, silky smooth finish with no real fear of cutting myself. In fact, I've never cut myself with this razor. I may have cut a bump here and there. This blade in particular has done a fair few shaves now. Or this cartridge, should I say. Let's have a bit of a feel. There shouldn't be too much left. I'm just going to grab some of this soap with a white hand. Just move it around and it gives you that little bit of slickness you can feel where the hair is. And then you can just peel it away. You can go over the area as much as you want with this razor. It really is that forgiving. I'm sure one day it will bite me in the ass when I'm doing this. But it's 
really, it's almost idiot proof. Obviously for shaving heads, it's not the most comfortable of handles, but there's enough grip in it. There's a little soft rubber grip on this one. It just makes all the difference when you're holding it. Right, that'll do me. Happy days. What we have? 16 minutes. Oh, that water's roasting. Now hopefully I've got enough soap on this brush because I'm just going to get stuck straight in. No mincing around. I'm going to pop my razor in the water to warm up a little bit. And here we go. Now once again, this is going to be a sort of vintage style mixed with a modern style. I'm going to start off to the first pass with my Feather Artist Club. And finish off with the skin guard again. Different blade but same type razor. So here we are, the Feather Artist Club stainless steel chevette. Now I have just seen, recently, in the last few days, a chevette that takes these blades, the sort of shorter version of these blades, and it also takes half DE blades. It's made by Tidalis. I can't remember the name of the razor now, that's terrible. But it is the nicest looking one of these that I've ever seen. It looks like a real straight razor. So here we go. Two days growth. This blade is ancient. This has done so many shaves, it's not funny. And I'm not going to lie, <laughs> it feels like it right there. <laughs> Brought a tear to my eye there. I'm still not a master with this, I never will be, but I do enjoy it.
crap in my hand here. Do you know what? I might never become a master of this razor, but you only need to be even slightly good with it to get shaves, even just the first pass, without any blood, which really, and it, it's a very enjoyable shaver, and I get very little irritation from it as well. And that, to me, is king when you're looking for something like that. You want the shave to be comfortable. You want it to to be really nice, so I'm just going to lather up again, quickly. Now part of the tugging that I was feeling would definitely have been because I haven't prepped my face. Really I just painted the lather on there and just shaved on a dry face really, a little bit of water and that was it. So a little bit of prep goes a little bit of a long way. A little bit of a long way. Here we go, skin guard number two. This is actually the King C Gillette variant of it. This is the one where they released this for 10 bucks. They released this for 30 bucks. I didn't pay 30 for it. I got this in a stupidly cheap sale. And here we go, let's just finish it off. A little back blade, fantastic. You know, some DEs will get under there really well. Nothing does better than that little back blade, as far as I'm concerned. Right, I'm just going to pop another little bit under my neck, and this should be the finishing touch. Beautiful. Beautiful. And that is me, done and dusty. I don't think I can really grumble at that. I do have a little spot there, but other than that, squeaky clean head shave. Lovely, very close face shave. And to be brutally honest with you, I can shave with the DE all day, I can shave with the leaf, I can shave with anything else. This generally gives me a closer shave. It's the sad reality of it. I can't get as close with the DE as some people can when I use that. I mean, that's all BVS there, there's nothing there. It's an absolutely fantastic shaver. It's not biodegradable, it's not super friendly for the environment, it really isn't. None of them are. Um, I like to think that one man can make a difference, but one man not using this razor is not going to make a difference in the world at the moment, unfortunately. It's just the way it is. And unfortunately, I'm not that man that's going to give it a crack just now when they keep dropping massive specials when things get more expensive. So, while they reduce the prices, I'm going to keep buying. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pop a little bit of this on. What we have? 25 minutes. Look at that. Fantastic. Fantastic. What a long video. <laughs> 
Thayer's Witch Hazel Peach. I'm just going to slap this everywhere. I will be having a shower soon. I'll just put this on for a little bit of the astringent. Now this one, out of all the Thayer's, is the, probably the stingiest one. You really feel it. In, a, in sort of a good way. It does have a very mild sting. It works well. We are also in the process of, we have actually put a deposit down on a new car as well, so we should get that in sort of July, August time, given the way the world is. It takes a long time for cars to get to Australia now, most parts of the world, so we've purchased a new Isuzu MUX. And we're really looking forward to getting that as well, and decided to tour a little bit in the caravan, take the kids around and see a bit of Australia. But yeah, so, what do we use? We started off with the Remington. X5, which has a bunch of dials, it's got 92 different length settings or something like that, like different combs and things, and you've got your normal switch, turbo, nice and simple, you see how it worked, it worked very, very well. I normally use this poxy little cheap thing that the missus uses on her bits. She uses this one, she now uses this one, but you can see the difference in size, obviously. Massive difference in size. That's, yeah, so it makes me feel a little bit insecure, this big blue thing. Right, what else do we use? So we use that. <laughs> the Soap 1912 from Wickham, made in England by Darren Barnes. Lovely, lovely guy. As you can see, the Ring of Death is showing very, very well there. Fantastic scent. The brush was my Rhodium Knot and G Point Ceramics, the Danicic family brush. A very, very nice brush. And the only one in existence. It's the only one on earth that he has ever made. And I'm really, really, so I'm almost proud to have it, if I'm honest, in a, in a crazy world of traditional shaving. Finished the head shave off with the leaf, the first pass. Derby extra blades in here and then finished off the full head shave or the rest of it to get the BBS with the skin guard. The face shave was the same soap, the same brush and this fantastic artist club stainless steel razor. The Tidalis blows this away and looks straight away. It looks like a straight razor. It looks refined and really looks fantastic but I think it's, I think it's 400 and 60 Amer uh, Australian dollars. That's a lot, that's a hefty price for a razor. I mean, you're up there and you're nearly Wolfman territory there. And I mean, we were saying that, I think the Wolfman are, was awful, but it's a very, very nice razor. I can't remember the name of it, which is terrible. And I finished off with this one, just to give me that BBS finish. So a bit of everything today, other than a DE razor, which I'm using pretty much regularly and daily, my DE, but I just thought I'd mix it up a little bit today. I hope you enjoyed it. I did finish off a little bit with some Thea's Peach Astringent Witch Hazel, which has got a nice little bit of sting to it. I'll have a shower later on, and then this bad boy will grace my head and face. There's Ngari Unscented Sago Aftershave Balm. And that's me done and dusted. I hope you enjoyed it. Got any questions or comments, pop them down below. The, co the, the content will come. It's just not going to be that frequent, as I said below, below before. But, you know, I'm enjoying the shaves when I want them. I fancy one tonight, I fancy to pop it on here. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive. And I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.